Hi, so today's video is going to be on multiplying fractions. So let's go back and we substitute our own words. So for multiplying, if you remember, multiplying is just adding really fast. So I'm going to write add real fast. And we're making sure that we leave some space so we can write these under here. Fractions, we're going to show our examples like one half, three fourths, and we can also have a negative number. So let's say negative, and I like 50 cents. So I'm going to write negative 50 over 100. It doesn't matter what fractions you use. You can come up with your own if you don't want to write these. If you have your own favorite fraction, you can write that. All right, so we're going to learn how to multiply fractions together. Here's the first one. One half times two over four. So what you have to do is slightly different from adding and subtracting fractions. Is you have to just pretend you're going to multiply across. So example one, you're going to multiply across. So I'm going to instead of having this guy here, I'm going to go like this and like this. You're going to multiply across. 1 times 2 is 2. Two times 4 is 8. And without simplifying, that would be the answer. If on the worksheet it said, do not simplify, then that would be totally cool. But most of the time, I'm never going to tell you, don't simplify. I'm going to tell you, you need to simplify. So here's the simplification. Both 2 over 8 can be divided by 2. So 2 is even and 8 is even. So I can divide each one of those by 2. And I have to make sure in reviewing how to simplify fractions, we realize that if you do it on the bottom, you have to do it on the top. Or if you do it on the top, you have to do it on the bottom. And if you remember, 2 over 2 is equal to 1. 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. So what we're really just doing is we're, we're multiplying or dividing, in this case, just by 1. So as I said before in class, instead of, you know, the guy is, you know, keeping everything the same about himself, what we're doing is maybe we're giving him like a, a facelift or like a nose job or like maybe he wanted a haircut. Maybe he's putting some his hair into spikes today. It's okay. It's still the same number on the inside. So we're changing the outside, but we're keeping the inside the same. So one fourth is the answer. So this is the continuation from example one. All right, let's go to example number two. Let's take our pen. Example two. I'm going to multiply across, but first, let me rewrite it because I hate these negatives right here. I'm going to, instead of saying this thing is negative, I'm going to bring the negative up to, like we showed you before in the other video, I'm going to bring this negative up to the numerator. So let's just go on to the next one. This is still example three. Or, sorry, example two. Now I have negative 3 times negative 3 over 4 times negative 1 over 2. Now what we have to do is we have to make sure that we multiply across. So the top times the top, bottom times the bottom. Multiply across. Now if you remember in class we keep saying multiply across. That's all that we remember. So I'm going to draw in some multiplication right here. Instead of looking at this guy, so I remember that I'm going to multiply across. Negative 3 times negative 1. Remember, a negative times a negative is a positive. So 3 times 1 is going to equal 3. 4 times 2 is going to equal 8. And that is as simple as we can do it, as simplified. 3 over 8, there's nothing that can go into 3 and 8. So we're done with example two. 
Example three. Let's use our blue pen. I have four and five times one half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I bring the negative up here. And I'm going to take it off here. And I'm going to multiply across. So I have to make sure that I bring the multiplication signs on the top and the bottom because I'm multiplying across both on the top and on the bottom. Negative 4 times 1 is going to be negative 4. Now remember, 4 times 1 is 4, so the opposite of 4 times 1, because we have 1 negative and negative is opposite, is going to be the opposite answer. And 5 times 2 is 10. Okay, well, it, we, I see that both of these are even, so I can divide both of those by 2. Let's show that in the next step. So this is a continuation of example 3. Here's example 3. Negative 4 divided by 2 is going to be negative 2. 10 divided by 2 is going to be 5. Now that's it for uh, multiplying fractions. We're going to go further into multiplying mixed numbers later because we have to change or convert mixed numbers into fractions before we can multiply. Alright, thank you for viewing this video.